As a child, I watched Crocodile Hunter, Croc Files, all the time. And then when he died, I started watching Jeff Corbin. Corbin? Corbin? And it just wasn't the same. <laughs> he was cool. But he was like American, so he didn't have the cool Australian accent. He also didn't wrestle Crocs. Hey guys, so uh, a byproduct of 2020 and all the quarantining was that, uh, <laughs> I don't know if we should be proud of this or if it's a little embarrassing. I'm gonna go with proud of, um, but my wife and I basically had brunch every day. Um, I don't think we had breakfast earlier than like eight most of the days. Uh, we would just wake up, start working, and then around lunchtime, come up with some kind of brunch. And throughout that, uh, one of the recipes that we up with was this thing we called the hash. Uh, it's like potatoes, you know, just as you can see, it's all breakfast essentials and it's all cooked on one skillet. You put it in the oven for a second, and that's how you cook the eggs, and it comes out pretty good. So, I wanted to share it with you guys today. So, to go over the ingredients real quick uh, a potato per person. Personally, I like golden potatoes the most, but we have russet today because that's what I got in my pantry. Uh, about one onion, one white or yellow onion. Don't go for red in this one. Personally, I think the red will be just too sharp. I like um, I like how white or yellow, they get a little softer when you cook in them. Um, two tomatoes. Two eggs per person is what we usually eat, but if you want less or more, it's up to you. Really, it's just whatever you want. I don't care. Uh, some cilantro. You're gonna do some grated parm, salt and pepper, and Italian seasoning. And garlic. So. As you can see, this isn't garlic. This is actually um, garlic paste, for lack of a better term, that I got from my mother-in-law. And actually, I'm gonna make a video about that coming up. So check that out when it comes out. You're welcome to use fresh garlic. Just make sure it's minced. You're gonna want about three cloves or so. So there we go. Let's get started. Uh, we're gonna start with the potatoes. We're gonna cut them in what's known as matchstick, I think. Again, not a chef. I just kind of do things for fun. You'll see, they're kind of like matchsticks. And so, I'm gonna go about a centimeter in pucks. And you're gonna just cut all the way down the potato. Cut the other potato. This is an awesome recipe for like weekends when you have a little bit of extra time. This will take you about eh, 30 minutes or so, from start to finish. So once you got all your potatoes cut, uh, you're gonna get a few of them, and then we're just gonna cut down, turning them into like matchstick size. You know what I'm saying? Bah, bah. So potatoes are done. Now we're moving on to let's get the onions. Um, as always, make sure you peel one to two layers of your onion because you're gonna have a layer of onion that is way too thin to be cooked. It'll come out leathery, it's gross, it's horrible. We're gonna dice the onions. However you wanna do that, easiest way that I've learned is to uh, just cut it all the way down and then turn it and then we'll see. So we're gonna make lines all the way down the onion. And then as you chop the crust, they come out nice and diced. So, let's do that. Okay, onions. Done. Now we're gonna move on to the tomato. Uh, I'm using plum tomatoes today, because this is what I had in my fridge. About two plum tomatoes is about one tomato on the vine-ish. If you want more tomatoes, you can put more. If you want less, you can put less. My wife loves tomatoes, so I put a little extra in there for her. So, for this one, it's gonna be similar to the potatoes, but we're not gonna match stick them. We're gonna cut about inch discs. You're just going for the dice. I like to stack them, makes it easier. Down the middle, and then three chops down the side. Then you get a nice little, a little cube, a little tomato cube. Okay, last one, cilantro, rough chop. Unless you don't want it, you can go for the mince. But I like a, look, I like a big piece of cilantro, unless you Oh, I know some people. Oh, this tastes like toothpaste, is that what it is? No. Soap. Oh, I feel for y'all. And next step is to the skillet. So let's do it. 
Okay, wait, important for this recipe, you're gonna be using both the stove top and the oven. So make sure you use a oven safe skillet. It could be a cast iron skillet, uh, you can use stainless steel in the oven, even some non-sticks like our non-stick, it's over there, is oven safe. So whatever you want, whatever is comfortable for you, I'm using a cast iron skillet, because I like it, but whatever is good for you. So first of all, you're gonna want to have your heat at about four. So first things first, a little bit of oil, then we're gonna throw potatoes. Careful, you don't wanna splash. So toss them around, uh, but quickly, we're going to season them. Salt, pepper, a good bit of salt, pepper, and then you're gonna throw some Italian seasoning, about a teaspoon, and basically just toss them around, make sure they're all nice and seasoned well. So, leave them there, uh, two or three minutes or so. You're not trying to get them to be hash brown level crunchy. That's not the goal. Um, a lot of that's gonna come from the oven later. Uh, but you do want a little, bit of, of a, of a little bit of a crust on them. Make sure they're not sticky. I might have used a little too much oil. Time will tell. Uh, I'm actually gonna raise the temp a little bit. We wanna stick somewhere between four and five or just to medium. I got numbers on mine. You guys might have a dial. You guys might have percentages. Now we wait. Normally, when I cook this, I cut potatoes, start the cooking process. Cut the onions, then I'll throw the onions, and I basically have the time to you know, go back and forth. But obviously, for the benefit of the video, I uh, did them all ahead. I cut everything, and then I'm cooking. But if it's easier for you, do what I did. Because by the time you finish cutting the potatoes and you cook them, and then you go on to the next thing, cut the onions and the tomatoes and the cilantro, potatoes should be good. You start noticing it gets a little golden. That's what you're going for. You're not going for crazy golden here. Because again, we're gonna throw in the oven. Um, once the potatoes get to a good place, this is where you're gonna start preheating your oven. You're gonna go broil on high. Double check. Uh, we're Hispanic. It's kind of a storage unit for us, so <laughs> I didn't know if there's anything in there. You know how there's like these weird ways to know when pasta's ready? You throw it up against the microwave or against the countertop and if it sticks, it's ready. Like all that's really stupid. Taste it. Grab a piece of pasta and just taste it. Is it cooked? And you'll immediately know. I mean, it's not gonna have the flavor of the sauce, but you'll know if it's cooked. Same thing with this. If you're like, is it cooked? You are gonna want it to be like nice and not super soft. You don't want it to be mashed potatoes, obviously, but you just want it to be cooked. So if you're ever like, I don't know if this is really cooked. Jam doesn't really explain things very well. I know I don't, I'm bad about that. Just taste it and you'll know. Now that it's cooked for a little bit, onion time. Actually, I'm just realizing now, I cut too much. That's okay. And we're gonna toss it around. Lid. Now we're cooking well. Use the lid from the get-go. So much easier. So once you, uh, once your onions look semi-translucent, where you can kind of see through them, but they're not fully translucent, get ready. This is where we're gonna start going quick. We're gonna go next tomatoes for like a minute or two, saute them, then we're gonna go garlic, and then the eggs. It's very important you use a container to crack the eggs into, because we're gonna be placing the eggs directly onto all of this, and you don't wanna crack onto this. The chances of you getting a shell in there are high, if you're like me, and for whatever reason, every time you crack an egg, they blow up. <laughs> so, um, put it in a little side thing. Uh, you are going for over medium eggs, or over easy, if you want a runny yolk. I like a, a little bit of a firmer yolk, like over medium. But if you don't like those kinds of eggs, you can always cook the eggs on the side. You can scramble them, you can whatever you want. And then you do everything else that I'm doing without the eggs. And then later on, add the eggs on top. So, now that the potatoes and onions are cooked, I like to move them to the side, move everything to the side a little bit. I should have done that with the onions. And we're gonna saute the tomatoes in there. You can add a little bit of oil, a little bit of oil. Tomatoes don't have to cook for much. They cook real fast. I am doing things in the correct order. Sometimes I, sometimes I lose track. So tomatoes, we're not going for, when you saute tomatoes, you, you don't want, I mean, personally, you don't want to cook, cook them too much. You want them to just get like, uh, tomatoes get this nice flavor when you saute them. You just want that flavor there, but you don't want it to be gooey. You want them to still have a little bit of a crunch. Maybe someone who's like went to culinary school is like, that's insane, but who cares? This isn't a restaurant. I'm trying to think of a way to explain how you know they're cooked. I really honestly don't know. Just cook for about a minute or two. Then you're gonna toss everything. Now, make a little pocket. I'm using this garlic paste, as I said earlier. So you're gonna put a 
about three to four minced garlic cloves or about a tablespoon of minced garlic. Let it saute for 30 seconds and then incorporate it with everything else. A good way to know that your garlic is ready to be incorporated is if you start smelling it. Once it's aromatic, that's when it's good. Okay, I'm good now. So, I'm just gonna toss. Next step, we're gonna do the tomatoes. It's important, like I said, crack into a container of some kind. You're gonna wanna make like a little pocket, not big, like four little spots for the eggs to go so they don't just start running everywhere. Crack into container, place. And you do them all pretty quick. You gotta go quick or else it's gonna cook too fast. And place carefully, you don't want the yolk to break. Let's go! You have no idea how many yolks I've broken. And you're trying to get like, trying to get them spread out. These guys aren't in the right spot, who cares? Oh shoot, I broke a yolk. I thought I broke another yolk and I was about to lose it. Now that the yolks are placed, woo, dismount, successful. Okay, now you're gonna get your grated parm and you're gonna sprinkle it all over the eggs. And now, into the oven we go. You want the whites to cook all the way through, but uh, you want the yolk to still be there. A pretty good cage, gauge is um, you kind of get the skillet and you kind of shake it a little bit. And if you see like the yolk kind of do a little bit of that, a little jiggle, then you know that the whites are cooked and the yolk is in. And in the minute that it's cooking, I don't know, clean up a little. Cool. Let's check. Okay. Well, let's see how we look. Oh yeah, way too runny still. So now we're waiting. Uh, so we had some camera problems. Didn't capture me taking it out of the oven. So anyways, now that we're good, you'll see it looks nice, nice and golden. Next step, just a little bit of cilantro on top. Now, next step is plating. Okay, through adversity and camera problems, we've made it. And now, it's time to plate. Plate. There we go. Nice. Looks pretty good. I don't know what to say now. Ooh, I should cut one of the yolks. Okay, if I cook this correctly, there should be a little bit of a run. Let's see. And perfect. Okay, let's go. You see that? That's over medium. Perfect. And so yeah, I have nothing else to say. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, please like, uh, share with anyone you know. Um, I have an Instagram for this specifically. So please go like it. Let me know if you guys cook this. Uh, you guys have a nice day. I'm gonna eat, I'm starving. So, see you later. Do I need to say anything else?